Sure. On this session of healing campaign, bringing you God's prophetic word of healing, of deliverance, of breakthrough, of liberation. And few hours ago, we were here and the Lord did great and mighty things. I want you to get seated, get connected right now, because God is still saying something. God is still saying something. And of course, weekends are not complete without healing campaign. I, I came here with a word tonight for you. I came here tonight with a word for you. And I want you to indicate wherever you're watching from. Just let me know where you're connected from. So that as I'm praying and as I'm speaking the word of the Lord, you're going to be connected. You're going to be getting it. I welcome everybody. If this is your first time joining, please do well to like, do well to share, do well to subscribe, and of course, touch the notification bell so that every time that we are live, you're going to be connected. God is still saying something. I have a word for you. Weekends are not complete without healing campaign. I have a word from the Lord for you. Weekends are not complete without healing campaign. Let me know where you're watching from. Just let me know. Just let me know. Just let me know. Father, thank you for tonight. I give you glory. I give you honor. I thank you for tonight's session. I thank, thank you, O oh Lord, because that which you started yesterday, you're completing today in the life of somebody. I thank you because this session has been divinely orchestrated to minister to someone's need. This is answered prayer to somebody who is in affliction, to somebody who is sick. Lord, this is answered prayer to that brother. This is answered prayer to that sister. This is answered prayer. This session is answered prayer to somebody who, who has been believing you for a turnaround, who has been believing you for a new season, who has been believing you, oh God, for a miracle, for healing. I thank you, Father, for everyone that is joining right now. I give you praise. I give you praise for the miracles that we had yesterday. We had instant miracles yesterday. I give the Lord praise. Please, if you are just joining right now, I want you to join me and give God a big praise for what he started doing yesterday. Faithful as he was begun a good work in your life and he is going to take it to completion. Thank you, Father. If you're just joining in right now, I want you to join me and let's begin to praise God for what he did yesterday. Let's give him praise. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Let's give him adoration. Thank you, Father. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. You reign, O ancient Zion King. O Rabababo Shadea. O Rimamamamamo Shandalamaya. O Rabababa Shadea. Faithful in all your ways, mighty and awesome. Doing marvelous things in our lives, doing marvelous things in our nations. Oh, All creation is subject to you because you were king, you were mighty, you were faithful, you were good. Oh, 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 Thank you, Father, for that one person that is going to come across this video tonight. And even after this session, I give you praise because distance is not a barrier. Oh, Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted, mighty God, mighty God. And thank you for your presence on this prayer altar tonight. I give you praise because everyone, nobody is leaving this meeting without your power. Nobody is leaving this meeting without your touch. 
I give you praise because no one is leaving this session without your, your hand upon them. And I thank you because the expectations of the righteous will not be cut off in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, I give you praise, mighty Father, because somebody who is lying sick is about to experience healing tonight. Amen. Oh, glory, hallelujah. I thank you because somebody who is watching me and headless now is about to experience the touch of the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the company of your innumerable angels ready to deliver tonight. You made your angels ministering spirits and your servants flames of fire. Glorify yourself tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome, Kelly Sange. Welcome, um, Zinkeng Betem. Welcome, John Helen. God bless you, prophetic minstrel. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Please do well to share. Tell somebody that we are live. Tell somebody that we are live. Greetings, Alex. Alex, God bless you. Please let's share. Let's share. Get some new person joining us tonight. Yesterday was very explosive. Yesterday was very explosive. Get somebody joining us in tonight. We are live again on Healing Campaign with your favorite woman of God. We are on again. We are live again. And God is set to do marvelous things. Lionel, God bless you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, B says, my glasses are glassing. Oh, thank you, B. <laughs> welcome. Please, let's share. Let's share. Uh, Justice, you're welcome. Please tell somebody that we are live. Tell somebody that we are live. And that God is still saying something. Tell somebody that we are live. Tell somebody that we are live. Invite somebody very quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. Just touch the link and share. Touch the link and share. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm excited. Welcome, Tabian. God bless you. Please share. Please share. Weekends are not complete without healing campaign. Please share. Please share. God is in this place. As you're joining us, I was already praying. Just, just, just share. Welcome, Arjun. Favor. Favor says that looks turning. God bless you. Please share, everybody. Please share. Let's get on. Let's get on. Let's get on. Let's get on. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh, favor is loving my glasses too. Thank you, favor. Let's share, let's share, let's share. Let's share, let's share, let's share. Tell somebody that we are live. Tell somebody that we are live. Healing campaign is live. Tell somebody that we are live. You can share on Facebook. You can share on your timeline. You can just begin to share aggressively. Please carry good news to somebody. Carry good news to somebody tonight. Welcome, Bonang. God bless you. After the session yesterday, I got a couple of people writing. Bonang was one of them. Bonang wrote me yesterday and said, Mama, thank you for being available. Thank you for allowing the Lord to use you. Bona was confirming all the prophecies that she had on this session yesterday. So please, I want us to feel God here, not just feel God, to feel at home, to feel warm. I want you to open your spirit as you're joining in. Release your faith and believe the Lord that day two is for you. Believe the Lord that tonight is your night. Believe God that tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. Amen. I need somebody to say a loud amen. amen. Tonight is your night. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I release the ministering angels tonight. Amen. For tonight's session, Lord, whoever is destined to be transformed tonight, I ask in the name of Jesus that they will not be passed by. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
You can make that amen loud, somebody. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome, Frankie. Begin to share. Welcome, Favor. Begin to share. Oh, Rabbi, remind somebody that we are on and live again. Thank you, oh, Holy Spirit. Glory, hallelujah. God has a word for somebody tonight. God has sent me for somebody tonight. Please tell all those people that are planning to come late that by the time they come, we will be done. Welcome, Mama Christy. Tell them that we are live. And tell somebody that is that has been planning since yesterday to be here. That everyone should do everything possible to be here. We are about 30 minutes gone already. So get connected. I have a word for you tonight. I have a word for you tonight. Are you ready? I need seven people to say, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And then we launch into the deep. I want seven people to say, I'm ready. Seven is a prophetic number. I want somebody to say, are you ready for God's word tonight? Say, I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready, number one. Yeah, I'm ready, number one. I'm counting. You're ready, say, I'm ready. You're ready, say, I'm ready. Thank you, Father. Adeline, welcome. Adeline says, I'm ready, number two. Mark Christie says, I'm ready, number three. Ojon Favor, number four, I'm ready. Kelly Sanchez she's saying, I'm ready, number five. B says, I'm ready, number six. Regina says, I'm ready. Jingwa Beat says, I'm ready. Oh, yes, indicate your presence. Adeline says, I'm ready. Prophetic Minister says, I'm ready. Listen, this is what God is saying for you tonight. This is what God is saying to you tonight. God says, I should come here and tell somebody, relax, for it is all figured out. Mm. Relax, for all has been figured out for you. Amen. That is a prophetic word for tonight. Amen. Get somebody in. Get somebody in. Welcome, Daniel. Welcome. Relax, all has been figured out. Get Amen. somebody in now. Get somebody in before we start praying, before I start releasing torturous words of, 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 of prophecy and, and prayer, of prophetic prayer. The Lord says, relax, all has been figured out. Amen. Have you ever known that anxiety can affect your miracle? God says, I should tell somebody, relax. It is all handled. Oh, rabababo shadaya. The Lord says, relax, it is all handled. Amen. The Lord says, relax, it is all figured out. Amen. I want you to write it out. I want you to, if you're getting the words that are coming out of my mouth, I want you to write it out. I want you to write it out. Welcome, welcome, Kelly Sand. I want you to write it out. Uh, Regina, yeah, write it out. Relax, it is all figured out. It is all figured out. Mm -hmm. I was praying earlier and the Lord told me there are many people who are close to it. But because of anxiety and fear, they miss it. Because of anxiety and fear and panic, they lose it. Not because they were supposed to lose it, but because of panic. Because of anxiety. Tonight, the Lord is saying, I should tell you, no matter how crucial it is, no matter how crucial where you are is, no matter how crucial the situation is, the Lord says, tell my son and tell my daughter to relax for it is all figured out. Amen. September is ending in a few hours. And the Lord says, if you must see his hand promptly, if you must see his hand in the most pleasantly surprising manner, you got to relax. You got to relax. Amen. You've got to relax. Oh, rabba, 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 yeah. you got to relax because it is all figured out. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to take us to the anchor scripture for the prophetic session tonight. I want to read the anchor scripture to you. We're going to Exodus now. We're going to Exodus. Exodus 14. Mm, I like the people who are with me in the office today. I'm loving this energy. Welcome, Justice. Welcome. Please get somebody in this prayer room now. And in the next how many minutes, I'm going to be out of your way. Exodus 14. 13, I'm going to read 13. It says, and Moses said to the people, do not be, I mean, do not be afraid. 
Now, this was after Moses had gotten his own encounter because this is a period where Israel was going through an exodus. Listen, do not be afraid. Mm. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. Amen. The Lord will fight for you. Amen. My God, my God, my God. You don't get it. I'm beginning to get it for myself. And you shall hold your peace. Amen. Oh, rabba, ba, 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 yeah. 15. 15 says, and the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Amen. Hmm. Listen. I'm going to be saying something. It's, 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 it's going to be simple. It's, but it's going to make a lot of sense to you tonight. The Lord says, I should tell you to stand still. Many times people pray and they don't, they don't, they don't gain the, they don't have the ability to be stable in their spirit. And because of that, they don't know how to recognize answers. There are many things you have prayed for and the Lord has answered, but because of your wavering nature, because you lack the composure to, to be still. To be still means nothing is shaking you. To be still means you fix your eyes on what the Lord has already said. Oh, Rababa. While building your confidence on what he had done before. And then enjoying the certainty that he will do it again. Amen. I don't know if you got that word. I don't know if you got it, somebody. I need you to shout a big amen here. Amen. If you're getting the words that are coming out of my mouth, I want you to shout a big amen here. Amen. So many times we are so worried. Many times we are so worried. We are so anxious that God could even answer and you don't see the answer. You don't, you don't acknowledge the answer because you are panicky you're too panicky god says i should tell you tonight stand still amen stand still amen it's only when you stand that you can see the salvation amen. if you can't stand you can't see what god is doing so your sight your spiritual sight your sight only becomes valuable when you have that composure of being still amen. did you get it did you get it? Yes, your sight, your spiritual sight, your spiritual perception, it will only make sense when you have gained the composure. Oh, rabba, ba, 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 yeah. You've gained the composure of being stable and settled in your spirit to know that God said it, he would do it. God did it before because of that you are too sure that he will do it again yeah. and even if God has never done it you are too certain in his person that he doesn't fail a thing when he says it yes, and because of that he is going to do it yeah. I need somebody shout a big amen here yeah. stand still relax relax Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Zinc can just relax. Amen. Justice, just relax. Amen. Frankie, just relax. Amen. Oh, rabba, baba. Just have some inner calm in your spirit. Amen. Just have some inner calm. Please, can you just do that as we prepare to end September? Can you just have that inner calmness in your spirit? It is then that you will see his hand at work. It is then that you will see the salvation of the Lord, the saving power of God. Oh, And if you must experience that, what must you do? What do you do to stand still? Point number one, you must understand that with God, life only gets better. You must understand that as long as God is involved, it's only going to get better. The Bible says the path of the righteous is a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. So as long as I'm a child of God, as long as I call on the name of the Lord, as long as 
God is with me. I am certain that no matter what surrounds me now, it's only going to get better and better. Yeah. So these are ascertaining tools that should be embedded in your inner man. These are ascertaining tools that you load your psychology with. God is with me. And if God be for me, who can be against me? So it doesn't matter what you're feeling in your body. One fact is certain. One fact is certain. God is with me. I want somebody to write it out. No matter how you're feeling the pain in your body. No matter the trouble you're feeling right now. I just need you to write it out. God is with me. God is with me. I must stand still because God is with me. Anytime you're not standing still, you're defiling and you're questioning his personality of being with you. Or you're questioning the fact that he's with you. God is with you. Oh, rabba, rabba, rabba. please don't defile that with your doubt. Don't defile that with your doubt. So point number one, you must ensure. You must ensure that you must, you must know. You must know that as long as God is with you, life is only going to get better and brighter. Oh, rabba, rabba. I want to tell somebody, God didn't bring you this far to abandon you. God didn't bring you right up to September to leave you stranded. God didn't allow you to take those steps of faith to at the point leave you to be frustrated. You're not getting me. You're not getting me. You're not getting me. You're taking steps of faith towards your healing. You may still be feeling the pain. You're taking steps of faith towards your career. You may not be seeing anything. But you're taking steps of faith towards your destiny. You're taking steps of faith towards fixing your marriage. You're taking steps of faith towards towards your career. One fact is sure. If God be for you, who can be against you? Even the forces of nature cannot stand you. Don't forget this same Jesus walked on the water. He had long proven to you and I that even if the waves are going to be strong, he would, he would overcome up trust and he will hold your hand to walk on the waters with him. Amen. Stand still. Amen. Stand still. Amen. Stand still. Amen. That financial problem is not going to kill you. Just stand still. That's when you're going to see the salvation. Listen, it's only when you have that internal calmness in your spirit that you can even be able to recognize the opportunities that are ahead of you. It's when you have that calmness in your spirit that you can be able to embrace that business idea that will take you out of those depths. It's only when you have that calmness in your inner man that you can be able that you can be able to embrace oh, rabba, shanda, ya, baba, ya. that you can be able to embrace that new door that God is opening for you That's right. mm, ma, 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 da, da, ba, ya. it is only then it is only then it's only when you have that calmness in your spirit that calmness that you can actually see that the divine helper that you were praying for was long around you Stand still. Stand still. Yeah. When you are too noisy, when your mind is too crowded, when your spirit is too crowded with anxieties and fear, you cannot even hear the Lord. You cannot even hear the Lord. The Lord says, stand still. You are too worried. You're too worried about the fact that we have just four months left to the end of the year. You're just too worried. You're just too worried. You're just too worried. The Lord says, stand still. Stand still. It is then you'll be able to see the miracle. So point number one, you must understand that with God, it only gets bigger. It only gets brighter. Study God's, and how do you do that? You got to study God's trends and patterns. You got to study God's strengths and patterns. The way he worked with people in the Bible. The way he worked with Abraham. The way he worked even with the children of Israel. It only got better. If God didn't fail Abraham, it is not you he will fail. That's right. 
If God didn't fail the patriarchs, if not you, he will fail. Understand his patterns. That with him, it only gets brighter and better. That from the Old Testament to the New Testament, it's only a greater light. It's only higher illumination. Amen. So your life is therefore too small for God to fail you. Why would God even fail you? No, tell me why. Are you fighting lordship with him? Are you fighting? Are you fighting a, a certain position? You be, are you? Let me use a very funny expression. You be God in Banya. Why would God fail you? <laughs> oh, rabababa. I want to ask you one question. Why will God fail you? Why? Why do you think God will fail you? You and God, what are, what are you and God fighting over that He will fail you? <laughs> oh, rabababa, shadadabaya. Stand still. That's a prophetic word. If you are just joining us, this is healing campaign. This is healing campaign with your favorite woman of God. And I've been praying for you today. And this is the word he gave me for you. Stand still. Stand still. Stand still. You know, many times to read Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. I discovered that the greatest challenge of even mature believers is lying down in green pastures. Many believers don't know how to lie down. You always think you've got to be doing something that will do something that will do something. Sometimes the Lord spoke to me some years ago. He said, honey, sometimes just lie down and watch me do it. Ah, rabababababaya, Oh, sometimes the devil takes advantage of your anxiety to, to depress you. I mean what I'm saying. You became a victim of certain circumstances of maybe fake prophets or, or maybe being duped because you didn't know how to have this calmness in your heart. Yeah. You feel like every day of your life, God should be saying something concerning that thing. Whereas the word for that season is stand still. Whereas the word for that season is lie down in green pastures. Lie down in green pastures. Oh, I discovered that the biggest ideas were birthed in my life when I, when I was relaxed. The biggest and best ideas that shot you, that will shoot you to the next level, will only be generated from your spirit when you are at, when you have peace, when you, when you are at the place of calmness. All that battle of a Magadon on your mind is not helping you. It's only taking you out of green pastures. Whenever we hear green pastures, we lie down. You didn't get it. Whenever, oh, Rababa, anytime you are around, you are inside, you are about to, the, the quality to enjoy green pasture, the virtue to enjoy green pasture is lying down. Relax. Relax. You're too worried. You're trying everything. Plus charcoal. You are trying everything plus charcoal. You're all over the place. You're all over. Everybody's your man of God. Everybody's your woman of God. Until you finally you forget the word. You get you 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 have 20 words, like oh god, 20 different, and then at the end of the day, you don't you, you sit, you're confusing yourself what God is actually saying because of anxiety. Ah Rabba, no, I'm preaching good. I know I'm preaching good. I know I'm preaching good. God is saying the pastures are green. Relax. Amen. We are ending. Yes, yes. We are ending September with this word. God is saying it is done. Just relax. It is Amen. all figured out. Oh, You worry everything. All bills, all this, all that, all the children, all that. You are always talking in yourself so much so that even when God is talking, you can't hear him. You can't hear him. You have, this year, we are in the ninth month. You have tried like 30 businesses. As we speak now, you're businessless. As we speak now, you are so businessless because you couldn't be calm to pick your bearing. You couldn't be calm. Sometimes it's not everything that makes you prosperous. It's one thing. You couldn't be calm in your spirit to trace that thing, to follow that light, to follow that bearing. You have, you've been so distorted. You've been so worried. Oh, rabababaya. 
You've been so distorted. You've been so worried. Right now, this is the ninth month. So people are already shut down. As you speak now, people are some, they're really watching. You have nervous problems. You're already having nerve issues. 2023 has ended. To you, the year has been ended. There's a way you're so, you're so panicky that you even end a year before it ends. Some people have already ended a year before it ends. When you ask, you, ask, you get to some people and say, how are you? They, they have already ended the year in, in September. They are saying, okay, it, it has happened again. You know, now I'm just, I'm just waiting the years and then see my life, see my life. Some people, you know, those people are saying, see my life and see my life and see my life. You are watching right now, you're in your 30th business. You still have not made that profit of 20 million that you planned on, planned on making early this year. You are on the 30th line of business. You are getting the 50th business partner now. You are on the 77 business projects as we speak. No, no, no. You, in PG, we see you do over dance, dance. You do it for all sides. You, you, you are so unstable that you confuse even the angels that come with breakthrough for you. Yes, yes. You are so, you are everywhere. Even the angels are assigned to, oh, Rab. I'm going to teach you something about geographical location and the move of God. Even the angels assigned to meet you in Limbe, they couldn't meet you there because on coming there, anxiety, panic and fear had carried you to Garwa. A, a, a frustration has already carried you to Betwa. So you prayed in Limbe, God is coming to answer you in Limbe. You left already. Sister, brother cannot be still. I'm preaching good. I, I know that I'm preaching. I, because I, I, this is, these are not, these are not, how can I put? How can I put it? These are not cunningly, they call it cunningly devised fables or what? These are not enticing words of men's wisdom. This is the word of God for somebody. Some of you are too everywhere. I was preaching in church on Sunday. I'm not everywhere. I can't, I'm not everywhere. I'm not everywhere. I, I've got to be somewhere in a particular time. Yes, black beauty. Exactly. I haven't made profit yet. Yes, black beauty. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Some people are listening to me now. I'm, I'm not even still enough. What I'm even saying now, after this, they're going to leave this place now and then I'm going to look for somebody who is live again. And then, <laughs> after this session, the people are going to look for another live session. Wow. They'll be for that live session. After that live session, and they're like, no, this one has no, it has not touched the thing. Why are you, Christianity is not maraboism, people of God. Christianity is not maraboism. Christianity is encounter. Christianity is believing the word of the Lord. Christianity is having faith. Christianity is being planted in the house of the Lord. The Bible says they that are planted in the, in the court of the Lord, they shall bear fruit in and out of season. Even in their old age, they will still be fruitful. Listen and listen very well. The Lord says, relax. Are you even bringing somebody here? You're watching me and you're sick. This is what is for you. Please get some new person on the platform now. Let them hear. This is what they need to hear. Somebody just comes for healing campaign and say, oh, mama, this is not really what I wanted to hear. And boom, you're off. You go to the next, next, next live session. You get there and in the next live session, the preacher is talking about seed sowing. Boom, you leave. You go to the next prayer session. The next preacher is talking against sin. Say, you sinner, you fornicator. The, the Lord rebuked you. Turn it off. Boom, this is not what I'm looking for. You move from to the next. God is helping somebody tonight. Amen. If I'm talking to you, let your amen be loud. God amen. is amen. You're so busy looking for answers that even when the answers come, you cannot recognize them. Oh, I'm, I'm going to find time to teach you how to recognize answers. You, you're done with 21 days prayer. You engage 41 days. After 41 days, you are, as we speak now, you're planning on, on another 77 days of prayer. Honey, why do you want to make this God, why do you want to make him feel like he doesn't hear? Why are you giving God the impression that he's not hearing? Is that not an abuse to him? Why are you insulting God like he's not hearing? When the Bible says his ears are not shut that he cannot hear you. 
Neither are his hands so that he cannot reach you. The problem is not God. The problem is our instability. The problem is not God. The problem is our anxiety. The problem is not God. The problem is the fact that we don't know how to lie down in green pastures that have already been made. All that pertains to life and godliness has already been given. Can I shock you, friend? This prayer topic that you brought for healing campaign, it has already been given. So even if I didn't preach to you, the word of God has it written there. It says all things that pertain to life and godliness have already been given. Oh, even Israel felt that way. That's why Moses had to come again. God is sending me again to somebody tonight like Moses. Moses had to come again and say, stand still. The same God that gave you manna cannot leave you by the Red Sea. The same God that made manna available, he cannot leave you by this Red Sea. You're listening to me right now. I'm already prophesying. You are at Red Sea. You are even at Mid Sea. And you don't know what to do. The Lord told me to come and tell you here, just relax. Oh, Rabba what a word. What a word. If I were you, I'd be dropping a seed to connect to this. This atmosphere is too charged. What a word. What a word. It's coming from the womb of my spirit. What a word. What a word. This is what somebody needed tonight. This is what somebody needed tonight. Somebody, your life is getting contained. Now, somebody, you are drawing from this atmosphere. The atmosphere of miracle that you need for things to start happening without stress for you. It's happening now. Amen. It's happening now. Amen. Oh, rabba, rabba. it's happening now. Amen. I'm going to find time and I'm trusting the Lord going to teach us how to recognize answers. Yeah. Amen. But I'm here tonight to say be still. That's the prophetic word. You're just joining us. Welcome to Healing Campaign. With your favorite woman of God, please subscribe as you're, as you're saying amen. Begin to share. Point number two. You must understand that God moves to certain places. You must understand that God is so concerned about blessing you because he did not create you to suffer. He did not create you to suffer. God didn't create you to suffer with that problem. That's why he says healing is the children's bread. you got to be still and understand these things. His intention for you was not to punish you. That's why he even made his mercy available. That's why he has made his mercy available. Judgment is only going to be at the end when he comes and raptures the church. That is scatology now. We're not going to get into all of that. But as long as you're breathing, as long as God gives you each day, the Bible says his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. What are you going through that sometimes because of anxiety, you're beginning to feel like God is punishing you? If God punishes you, will you breathe? No, no, no. I want to ask you, if God really has to punish you, you are sick of something and the devil begins to remind you of a certain past and then he knows how to connect that thing. You know how our brains get wired up sometimes. The devil will just connect it to something, connect it and then connect it and says, okay, now, now you have been judged. You are still breathing. The devil has already judged and acquitted your case. He has already concluded you out of mercy. As far as the devil is concerned, he's done with you and your mind. Sometimes even when you're saying amen, you're just saying amen like, well, let me just say amen to see if it's going to work. Hey, stop that. Be still and know that God is God. Peace is coming to somebody's heart tonight. Peace is coming to somebody's heart tonight. If you are just joining in the prophetic word tonight, God says, relax. It is all figured out. Understand point number three. Understand that God honors his word. Understand that God's word is his integrity. God's word is his integrity and he's not ready to fail his integrity in your life. If it, is, if, if it fails, it's you that failed, not him. Oh, His word is an important aspect and component of his integrity. 
and he's not ready to let that down. Mm -hmm. God is not ready to let that down. Mm -hmm. He's not a man that he should lie. Please, sometimes, instead of being anxious, sit down and begin to meditate on these things I'm teaching you. I'm teaching us the tools that we should load our minds and our spirits with so that we stand still. He is not a man that he should lie. There are two immutable things, one of which, two unchangeable, one of which is the fact that God cannot lie. Seriously, if God really had to lie, he would not lie to Papa Abraham. He'll come and lie to you. Know, tell me why. Tell me what the creator credibility what is the your tell me the cv that you have that god should come and lie to you what is it about you that god what is it about you what is it about you that god will be lying to you oh rabababo shandayabaya oh rabababa i don't know if somebody's getting this word i don't know if somebody's getting this word makaya baba point number what now point number four yes sir Point number four, and we close, and we pray, and we pray. Point number four, and we pray. Point number six, you must understand that in blessing you, God is concerned about growing your faith as well. You must understand, ladies and gentlemen, that in blessing you, God is also concerned with growing your faith alongside the thing is that you want to be blessed, but you don't want your faith to grow alongside. That's why you cannot relax. There are some things, God, I've seen people do funny things. So somebody is giving a testimony already and he, the person ends the testimony by saying, and, and I'm still believing the Lord that. So you're not even done with celebrating the part one of the testimony. You are already in a state of anxiety for what will happen next. Can I answer you? No. What will happen next is the process of your faith. It's the process of growing your faith. You. you didn't get it. You, you didn't get it. Even the people in this room, I'm not sure they're getting it. You, if you're hearing, let them hear that you're hearing them. I hear you, you, yes. In blessing you, God is also concerned about growing your faith. Mm. The Bible says by faith and not work with God. What sponsors your anxiety is the fact that you are a Keeping from the process that will grow your faith. Ooh, Every time you are faced with something that should grow your faith, you call it wala. So every blessing begins to look like more depression to you. Yeah. Every blessing just adds your problems. Mm. There are some people, if you ask them, do you really want God to bless you? They're not even very sure. They're saying, if God gives me a baby, somebody will be saying, hey, but if God gives me a baby now, my God, the baby has not even come. Or maybe you're pregnant. You're not worried about a nanny. <sighs> God, what about a nanny? Okay, what do you mean by the time I'm about to have my kid, the placenta just twists. Baby is still two months old. Baby is still two months old. Two months old pregnancy. Yeah. You're already worried. Okay, what if what if now? Hey, I used to hear that some babies, the, the placenta gets ruptured. Now, this is what the devil does to your mind. You're already worried. Oh, come on. You're already worried. You're already worried. You prayed for a house. You moved into it. You've not even slept one week. You're already worried about the rent. My God, my God, how am I going to pay this rent? Jesus, Jesus. Now you start scouting prayer platforms. Hey, for the next miracle money word. Eee. Please, please, please. God, the, the Christianity is not, it's not to lose your mind. Receive the peace of God. Learn to relax. Learn to relax. You prayed for a car, a car came. After one month, he, the devil tells you, what if this engine gets knocked now? And then you, you, you are not even enjoying the car. You're already looking for the price of an engine. Mm. Say, hey, what's the price of the engine of this car? You get it. You come back. You are more frustrated. You are stranded. You are riding a big car, but you're very slim and skinny. Mm -hmm. you, you, look, you look so malnourished. Your mind is punctured. You don't know how to relax. <laughs> <laughs> come on come on what a word tonight what a word you must if you must rise and increase in the blessings of the lord you must learn to stand still you must learn to lie down in green pastures Amen. you are praying god should god i want to travel god i want to travel while we are packing your things you have a nerve pain already. We are asking, what's the problem? I don't know. How? Who, who am I going to live with? You are you're 
Life is always having problems. Say God, because you don't know how to lie down in green pastures. When the Lord was speaking to Abraham to leave, he just said, Go. Who will you stay with? He didn't even ask God, God, I'm, now that I'm going, who am I going to sleep with? God, now, Abraham did not worry about that because God with him is majority. So you live a life, your life, you're always owing God gratitude because you, you're, you're not even done thanking God. You're never, your worship is never complete. Anxiety hacks your worship. Anxiety is always hacking your worship. Fear is always hacking your gratitude. You can never thank God completely. You have really so this is how we end our worship. Lord, I want to thank you for today. And I begin to give you glory because we're going to have food. We're not like food. Hey, stop that. Just thank God and go. Uh, I told you three days we are on fire here. Somebody's life is shifting in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody's life is shifting in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Rabba Baba Bosha Dada Bayaha. Lega Baba Bosha Tele Makanda Baba Yashataya. Your baby is still two years old. You're already worried about school fees. Hey, God. Your child is still two years old. This baby is still learning speech. You already have a nerve problem. What's the problem? See, I'm thinking of sending this child to one of the best schools. Oh, my kid is going to be in Oxford. I don't even have money in my bank account. I don't even have money. You're not done thanking God for each day. You're already worried about the next day. Listen, I was teaching in church on Sunday. I said some scriptures are too simple for you to be making something out of them. One of the simplest scriptures I've come across in the Bible. It may sound really foolish. It says, don't. It's in the gospels, Jesus himself speaks. He said, Worry not about tomorrow. Mm-hmm. He says, Worry not about tomorrow. Right. That was a reform. Mm-hmm. People needed to be still for him to move. He came for him to reveal his hand. He, I know that's the most foolish thing to do, but that's the right thing to do. Because most of the time to you, it feels like I cannot just be surrounded. I don't know. You've heard people say, I cannot just be surrounded with a lot of things and I'm not doing anything about it. Sometimes you just got, sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. That's right. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever found yourself at that problem, at that place. There, sometimes there is nothing you, you can really do about it. <laughs> Madam, I can handle it. Sometimes there's nothing you can handle about it. Lie down in green pastures. I lie down. I want you to write your name out in the comment section. Say, Nikki, I'm a lie down in green pastures and I will enjoy God doing. Write your name out. Say, I'm gonna write lie down in green pastures from today. As I wrap up the month of September, I'm done with anxiety and done with fear. And I'm gonna trust the Lord for each day and I'm gonna work it out for me. And the devil knows. Every time you're not worried, even the devil is angry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you say somebody's gonna ask, How can you be going through that? You're just sitting like that. How should yeah. I sit? Should I put my hand on my head? <laughs> so how, can you, how, 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 how can you just sit like that? Mm-hmm. My dear, I've done everything. Now it's time to lie down in green pastures and let God do it. Mm-hmm. Learn to let God do it. Mm-hmm. Learn to just let God do it. Oh, rabba Oh, I don't know who is getting ready to let God do it tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Every time God increases you, don't forget He creates another space for your faith to grow because He needs your faith for the next level. Did you Did you get that? Did you Did you get that? Did you get that? Every time He's doing something. He creates a way to increase your 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 your, your faith. Mm-hmm. It's easy. You you could you could fry a little Yaris car, mm-hmm. and uh, the parts are not even expensive. You could just be pulling along with it, and then one day you went and cried 
to the Lord. Lord, that thou wouldest bless me. That thou wouldest enlarge my cross. Reko Bobo Santa. Reke Mama Santa. You now sold seed. Range over came. It came, you have to feel it. You have to maintain it. You're not getting me. So you see people that enter new phases of their lives and then they just paralyze. Because they did not know that the blessings go alongside growing your faith. Mm -hmm. He keeps making provision for your faith, faith to grow because that is the currency with which God relates with humanity. Your faith, your faith, by faith and not work with God. By faith, the elders obtained a promise placed in their life where they are not faithing on anything. So all your processes of faith, you call them problems. Just call them problems. Say, hey, mommy, how are you? I, I'm, I'm sitting right here. My problems are more than me. No, they're not problems. That that, that growth processes. Amen. God is growing somebody's faith tonight. Amen. Oh, Rabba, I don't know how your September was. I don't know how your September was. But God is growing your faith. Amen. God is growing your faith. Amen. God is growing your faith. Amen. Stand still. Amen. Just stand still. Amen. Welcome, our Joel, connecting from Yaoundé. Stand still. Stand still. Somebody write it out from today. I'm a stand still and lie down in green pastures. Come on, write it out from today. I'm a stand still and lie down in green pastures. I'm a stand still and lie down in green pastures. Sometimes, even when the devil is waking, you slap him and say, I'm lying down in green pastures. I'm lying down in green pastures. Oh, give Jesus praise in the house tonight. <laughs> give Jesus praise in the house tonight. Give him a high praise. Give him a high praise. He's been awesome. Give him a high praise. <laughs> Oh, glory, hallelujah. Marega da bashi kalabaya. Mande brehekete brosha da baya. Oh, while I was ministering, I had some people dropping a seed. God bless you, Anna, and those of you that are seeding into today's word. You're dropping a seed and you're connecting to this atmosphere. The Lord bless you. I want to pray for you now. I want to pray for you now. I want to pray for you now. God is releasing his peace to Amen. somebody now. Amen. No matter what you're going through, God is releasing his peace. God is releasing his peace. God is releasing his peace. You're counting the time and the seasons of your life and you're looking at your achievements and you have not achieved. You are so worried every day. God is restoring his peace so you can live long. Amen. There are times you can worry and actually die before the miracle. Are you getting me, somebody? Yes, but by this word tonight, God is taking you out of that grave. Amen. Amen. Oh, Receive the name of Jesus. Psychological healing. Spirit of worry. You spirit of anxiety. My right of depression. I cast you out. Let go that sister. Let go. I'm praying for is it is it Ephon or Leon? Somebody like that. In the name of Jesus, Amen. walk into your freedom. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. somebody Ooh. came here tonight believing the Lord for healing. As I was speaking, out, Amen. The name of Jesus, Amen. I declare healing upon the sick tonight. I, I declare healing upon the sick tonight. I receive. I want to pray for new people. Get someone here. Get someone in this prayer room. So that by the time I'm doing the last declarations for the night and the last prayer, they're going to be connected here. And if you are just joining, I want you to touch, like, subscribe, touch notification bells. 
Rabababosha de alataya. Rege de bosha talamayata. Rika di basunta la mayaha. Healing tonight in Jesus' name. By the word of the Lord and by the words I speak tonight. Let dry bones live again. Amen. Let dry bones live again. Amen. I declare healing upon HIV. Amen. I declare healing upon high blood pressure. Amen. I declare healing upon headache. Amen. I command seizures to cease completely. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command lung problem healed by the power of God. Amen. Somebody coughing blood. I declare in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your Lungs are purified by, Lungs are purified by the blood of Jesus. Your system purified by the blood of Jesus. I declare healing upon all manner of diseases. Yes. Arthritis, gastritis. Amen. You cease to operate here because the word of the Lord has gone forth already. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command tumors to disappear. Amen. I command stress disorders disappear. Amen. I command personality disorders cease in the name Amen. of Jesus. Psychological knockdown. Diseases as a function of trauma from the past. I command you free in the name of Jesus. Post-traumatic stress disorders. You are subject to this word of the Lord tonight. He spoke for this word and he healed our diseases. Mahanda makunde behentea. Lei kandu bahanta laina hai. Zete makwanda marahantea. Baro karia darata taya. Baki no roshalia baratandea. Amahanta mahaha. Ende hente le hunta la mahaidea. As atena kondele bahaya. Rega doza dia baratundelea. Amakunda mahantea nahantea. Eze edeina kunda laina aya. Ega bado shalia karamahaya. Amen. Amen. God says a lot to somebody. The atmosphere has been cleared. Enter your new season. God says a lot to somebody. The atmosphere has been cleared. Enter your new season. God says a lot to somebody. The atmosphere has been cleared. Enter your new season. Amen. Kando basahalianahoya, me kando barama mahantaya. By the hearing of God's word, Amen. healing has come to your body. Amen. Deliverance has come to your body. Amen. Liberation has come to your family. Nahanta na makaida da bahava. Me kumba ragabasa kia na hai. I assign this word to your destinies. I, I assign this word to your predicament. The Bible says the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. It is tearing through your life now. Amen. It is bringing you a miracle. Amen. It is bringing you a breakthrough. Amen. It is bringing you deliverance. Amen. Right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. On healing campaign, we enter a new season. Amen. We enter a new season. Amen. Amen. Wait are being lifted. Amen. Financial weight being lifted. Amen. Sickness is being lifted. Amen. Worry about the future lifted. Fear about tomorrow cast out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 Come and pray with me. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Sherebe hentele kadia zataya, rikando bariana ne kadia, leko basia do koshalata, ekando barata na na hantia, ze eteina kande brea, ze adu kabara tena ha, ekadu shalata tata, ekameni kene me ya kataya, ezade bakindo boyo doya, e bangi ya barata tana ha, e bekele kano na shala, shapra kata, shapra kata. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Samara Mama. Samara Baba Baba. Zet. Take a bar. Terukata Mahantia. Terukotomia Kaka. Mekrubara Katia Dudusha. Kebe Kelebo Soto. Ente Preke. Ente Kalabrahataya. Zetele Mahuntaya. Eshambara Kadushede. Regedeva 
Ladia Baraka Tondashia. It is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. Kari Mama Mashanda. It is done. Amen. I just saw the darkness roll away. Amen. Yeah. I want you to bring your prayer topics close to this atmosphere now. I want you to bring those prayer points. Begin to mention them now. Begin to mention them now. Bring those prayer points close. Begin to mention them now. God is doing it now. God Amen. is doing it now. Amen. This atmosphere is too charged. Bring that financial need. Bring that emotional need. Bring that career need. Malaka Dada. Eze ene makundea. La abaria do kosalea. Le egede baranto kosaka. Le emanana shandea mayata. Regede basunda la yada. Sa anama kunda bayatata. Re ede basunda bagadea. Sa ade kadea baratataya. Mahanda makondo boyoto. Receive healing. Mara baba. Receive freedom. Barakatata. Receive liberation. Lebe etenaha esu asala ya re oto boka yanda re koto boshata leke beri atata kusa embrakata to embrakete te adadaya esu davala sata yata leke beri adada shada la hamana kuna maya lege de boko to salata ya re kabari adadaya shima na hante ya e amahunda baadai e mokondo Bariana Naya, a Ragada Babaya dia, Ruka dia Bakondeleata, Adakuzu Kutia Tata, a Beke de Debo, Rokotia Manai, Rokoto Rokoto Satataya, Bereka Baruka Tatavasha, Riko Rokoto Salata, Ekembre de Debo Sataya, Rika di Baruta Nabakaya, Reke de Deba Rakunda Baya. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Chair Grace. Chair Grace. I saw somebody with a name like that. Chair Grace. I don't know what the number four means to you. But while I was praying, the number four, I don't know what the number four means to you. But while I was praying, the Lord took me to a circle of you and others, making the number of four. I took, God took me to a circle of four persons and you were one of them. And the Lord says he is stepping into your family this season Amen. with big breakthroughs. Amen. With very big breakthroughs. Amen. With very big breakthroughs. Amen. Take note of those words that is coming, word that is coming out of my mouth. Chair Grace, take note of this word that is coming out of my mouth. I, I, I saw the Lord enter your family and I began to so celebrations from Marita to traveling. Amen. It is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. Chair Grace, it is done. Amen. It is done. Amen. Mareke de bosha bala babaya. Sheke de brosa taya mama maya. Reko bobo shatala baba baya. I'm prophesying to Chair Grace. The Lord entered your house. And I was in the middle in the realms of the spirit, and then I saw Marita breakthrough, and then I saw someone traveling there. Mm -hmm. I declared this miracle is permanent Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Makabala Tada Yataya Reconde Barana Amashanda Labaya Rika Diba Sukalabrabaya Reco Bobo Shabaya. God is lifting financial weights. God is lifting financial weights. Manana Makonde Belea Laya. Rikande Basa Calabaria de Dea. Rego do Bosha Calabaya Taya. Rika Momo Shanda Baya. I declare that womb is open. Amen. I declare that womb is open. Amen. Mashakaya da Bahaya. Efata. I declare that womb is open. Amen. Efata. I declare. Clear that womb is open. Amen. You are receiving that opportunity. Amen. These days you are receiving that breakthrough. Somebody, you are getting a big surprise. Amen. Somebody, you're getting a vision. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in 
the name of Jesus. The Lord says your sick father will recover. Amen. The Lord says your sick father will recover. Amen. That is a word for somebody. Amen. Your sick father will recover. Amen. He will rise up and he will walk again. Amen. He will rise up and he will walk again. Amen. Take note of that word. There's somebody you're connected now. God says your sick father will get up from that bed and will walk again and will enjoy the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Malakama shandele mahaya. Rekobo sakalabaya. Lord, I pray for somebody who is at the verge and needs an emergency miracle now. Receive it in the next 10 hours. Amen. You didn't hear me. I release an atmosphere of miracles for you. Receive. receive it in the name of Jesus. 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 That door that was shut against you has been opened again. Amen. That door that rejected you has been opened for you again. Amen. That's a prophetic word for somebody. That door that rejected you is open for you again. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Malababaya telebakaya naya. Justice be, it's a new day for you. Amen. Justice be, it's a new day for you. Amen. It's a new dawn for your life. Amen. It is a new dawn for your projects. Amen. It is a new dawn for your life. Amen. It is a new dawn for your projects. Amen. Somebody begin to give the Lord a praise in this house. Oh, yeah. God is doing awesome things. Glory. God is doing awesome things. Amen. God is doing awesome things. Amen. I sense in my spirit, there is a break for the miracles here. You are watching and you are sick in your body. Check the pain, it's gone. Amen. Check the pain, it is gone. Amen. Check the pain, it is gone. Amen. You just joined this platform today and you are doubting in your spirit. Let my God show Shock you in the next 24 hours. Yes. Amen. Let there be a sign that you met God here. Amen. Let there be a sign that you met God here. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Come on, somebody give God praise. Amen. Woo! Woo! We are going to be meeting this anointing. And the Lord is leading you to pay your tithe here, to, to drop a seed, to drop an offering. Please don't hesitate. These three days are too loaded for you to be left out. For those of you that came connected to this session, seek, my God says I should tell you, he will surprise you. Amen. Amen. Even your testimony will change. Yeah. Take note of the words that are coming out of my mouth. When he called me, he told me, Jerusha, while you are speaking, I'm going to prepare us for Sunday morning. Yeah. That's the good news I have for you. Woo. Tomorrow is Saturday evening. I'm going to be live again. Mm. I'm going to be live again. And I want you to share. Sunday morning, we're going to be here. I'm going to, I'm going to be live tomorrow. Encounter God. They raised an altar for the Lord. So I want you to take these three days very, very serious in your life and tell yourself this four days my life must change. Amen. This four Give God praise. Give God praise for your testimony. Glory to God. You're the next to testify. I want you to write it up. I'm the next to testify. Pins in the comment. Do that you can send me a message you can send me a mail via my gmail please you can put up the gmail there you you have a prayer point you'll be right 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 write me on gmail you're believing the lord for something you need counseling you need i bless everyone dropping a seed and dropping an offering that as your faith is released God, manka akongwe you are blessed Amen. you are your seed is blessed Webo. Webo, your seed is blessed. Whichever way you're doing it, their PayPal, their cash app. However, 
before you're doing it, very fast, God can turn down your faith. So your giving, your seeding is relating with you in just a bit. God bless you. And I'm here because I love you. And please, if you give this video a thumbs up and I love you.